Hi, welcome to Power BI demo. Uh, today I'll be talking uh, about SAM. SAM is one of the main uh, Power BI aggregate function. And we are going to do a full demo using a table with all the calculations, with all the entries. And then we're going to do a SAM and we see how SAM behaves on a Power BI environment. For those people who are familiar with um, uh, Adventure Database, so this data is being derived from Adventure Database. And uh, what we are doing here, basically, we are adding all the total sales for the region or, or all over the country, all over the world. So we can see here, some function allow adding all numbers on the column. So we go all this number here in the column and it allow us to add it. So the, the formula for the DAX function for the sum, so you first of all give the, the title of your calculation or your measure. So for us, we are calling it total sum. Then it equals, which we start with equals all the time when you are doing a DAX, a DAX uh, calculation. Then we do sum. So sum is a function. Then from there, it's going to do a drop down of the, all the tables which are in that uh, particular uh, Power BI. And this is a field which you are looking for. So we had a field which you are looking for, which is, I have renamed this one, but in a little while, this will be sales amount here. So once we do that, we enter the formula and this gives us the total. So this is exactly the same, same total which we can do, see here. So what I'll do, uh, I'll do a demo on how to calculate sum on this uh, table. So I'm going to open a new DAX there. Then we go to the table. So as we've seen here, this is a table. This is our table here. So on our Power BI, this is our table here, total sales here, uh, sales there. And what we want to do now, we want to uh, enter a new function uh, for our measure. So we go for a new measure. So we give it a name. So, so we call it total sales. I'll say demo. So then uh, this is the name of my, my my measure. Then I'll do equals. Then because we are doing a demo of the sum, so we do sum, we enter sum. And as you can see now, uh, sum equals column name. So we need the column name. So this is, uh, we are looking for the column name and you are saying sales amount. So this is a sales amount here. So we enter that and we close the bracket and we have a sales amount. So once we do that, this gives us a new measure. So now if we go here and we take uh, a table, uh, sales amount. So this is, a, this is a total sales amount of everything. But now we add by the year. So, so due dates. Then what we can do, we can remove the quota and we can remove the month and then uh, arrange the data properly. So we can see there, this is what is been a total sum of the whole of the data. So we have added everything on this column and we got that total here. So in summary, what we have now, uh, we have this total here, which we got it our demo there. And that is exactly what we are getting there. But this is as a result of adding everything on this table. So this is how some uh, behave on a DAX environment or on Power BI. Thank you so much for uh, listening. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Thank you.